Hello guys, welcome back to the video. This is Realme 10 Pro Plus 5G, the blood working. The one and only phone which have curled display and for 25,000 rupees. And let's check out, does it get actually worth for 20,000 rupees? Compare with the its predecessor. So let's get started. Let's unbox. Okay, normal thing with the case and the warranty card, SIM ejector tool, some other stuff. Okay, this is a phone. Mm. So a phone, which is curved display, and some of things. And here is the 80 watt super work charger, which the phone support only 67 watt. And here is the Type C charger which all the smartphone brands must be followed especially Apple from the 9 series onwards the Realme just withdraw their orange color plastic from this USB part and from also the charger part some really new things so this is the Realme 10 Pro Plus 5G variant having hyperspace color and 6GB 128 there are two type of patterns that you can see one having some glittery effect and with somehow stripes okay, you can see that it looks awesome but the real fact is that it's a fingerprint magnet also and this is a plastic back and not a premium glass back okay, you can see that the effect huh? it's look too great but I don't know who of the people were showing this outwards without using the back cover. And the real fact is that this plastic bag will no long for any 6 months or 7 months. Because after the 7-6 months, it will come with white white dots. I will share my opinion in another video that my, I already bought a Realme 9 4G phone. It's uh, a 6-7 to seven months old having full of white patches and you can see that they have thin narrow bezels it doesn't get focus okay come on focus okay leave it i'll show you later so weight is less as compared to that of its predecessor realme 9 pro plus 5g but spec wise it sucks let's turn on I did say that it's a bloatware key. Yes, it's a bloatware key because it contains a lot of bloatware compared with any other phones in this price range. But they all don't doesn't contain this color display. For maintaining the price in between 25,000 to 30, they are just added, not just added many other third party applications and recommendations in order to get reduced the price to 25,000. Finally, I sign up my phone and how it look like. It contains many bloatwares, Moch, PhonePay, and some of our third party applications. Why do I promote that? Plus point is that by reducing this phone's price is just a good thing as a consumer's level. Because if you are increasing this price, we can't afford this type of phone. It's always on display. It comes with OnePlus phones. I don't know whether it is Realme or OnePlus because they are under the one company okay. main premium feature that i get from this phone is that the haptic feedback awesome awesome haptic feedback that which you get from some of the premium phones i want to uninstall this broadway firstly uh, i just stopped the video uh, because the phone get overheated i'm just continuing to record for 20 minutes even though I just removed many of the bloatwares, it also comes with hot apps and uh, hot games. So we want to also uninstall it. Good things of this phone, happy feedback, it's awesome. The thing is that 120Hz display, the Android thing. And this thing is very annoying. And we shall also disable that. It also comes with plenty of apps. Let's tell us about the pawns of this phone. 
Okay, first of all, it comes with a curved display, which is awesome. And the haptic feedback is also awesome. Curved display in this budget is something we can't imagine that give by the Realme is appreciable. And one of the features that it comes with an bokeh effect in front camera also. So those who are studying vlogs in YouTube any or in any other platforms, that that people can also buy this phone, it's a good thing. 5000 milliampere battery, that is insane. Many of the phones are coming with high watt charging capacity, but they won't give high battery pack. But in this case, Realme is giving 67 watt fast charging and 5000 milliampere battery. For me, it will last for one and a half day. And the display. Nyan and the phone launches edge display under 25,000 rupees. It's a great thing. So Realme is launched this phone as a flagship. So there are many cons as compared with its predecessor and some other phones. Tell me the specification of the its predecessor Realme 9 Pro Plus 5G. The specs are a little bit smaller. So first of all, it tells about the camera. In the Realme 9, it comes with an IMX7 something type camera, but it also provides OIS. For normal gaming, it's okay. Fine. Thing is that you won't get any audio jack anymore. It also comes with a dual speaker, but which doesn't support equal volume. If the main speaker give 60 percentage, then the two speaker give only 40 percentage only. You can't add any SD card to this phone for greater storage. You want to buy, you want to add greater budget. Overall, it's the first blood working from the Realme side. Bearing this phone, its processor, it's only 0.1 GHz greater performance than its predecessor Realme 9 Pro Plus 5G. So that's how Dimensity 1008 5G chipset differ from its predecessor. Just a point difference. You can just adjust the depth of field for using creating the blocks, which is insane. Recently, I didn't see this bokeh effect in some of the Android phones, but let me just keep it here. It's a good thing for, for some of the vloggers who doesn't have to buy a camera. Likewise, in Apple and Pixel devices, the AI will automatically recognize whether for the astrophotography or night photography. Likewise, in this phone also, we can see that. From the camera department, it comes with 108MB, 2MB macro and 8MB wide angle. 108 MB situated here and the 2 MB and 8 MB wide angle situated here. The curved display of this phone is insane. I'll show you something interesting. Let's check out this. Uh, this is the one called Hypervision. By turning on the color boost, HDR boost, and high refresh rate. You can see, and you can see that the difference of the screen just get changed. So let's check in audio quality. So from this sequence, I guess realize that from this speaker you can hear some of the instrumental sequence only and the other human voices and other things were heard by this speaker. And this speaker holds 40% and this speaker holds 60% of the volume. So as a consumer level, it's a better phone by constant display only. And it supports 13 5G bands, which is great.
I just want to recommend it for people who are not much considering taking the photographies or just consuming the display only. Most of the time we are also consuming the display. Uh, for taking re really good photos and videos, I just re recommend the Realme 9 Pro Plus 5G. Sometimes the price will drop and sometimes it will cross. And here are some of the images that I just took on this phone. camera which recorded 180p 30 fps and also have some happy feedback while I am turn on the level on the settings and which I can feel now I just didn't turn on the stabilization and this is the clarity of realme 10 pro plus 5g when I, while I am turning on the stabilization the video crops a slight footage of while 180p 60 fps at Stabilization 180p 60 fps without stabilization. You can feel the much difference between them. For getting bokeh effect, adjust the depth of field and you record at 720p 30 fps.